Plane germination is inseparable from the factors that influence both internal and external factors. Internal factors are factors that origin from the plane body itself, such as genetic factors and hormones, while external factors are factors that come from outside the plane body, namely from the environment. External factors that affect growth include like nutrients, water, and temperature. To increase seed growth, treatment is given before the seeds are planted or what is known as priming. Seed treatment is intended for several purposes, namely breaking the dormancy period of seeds, choosing the right seed so that seeds can grow quickly, stimulating roots so that seeds grow uniformly and healthily and preventing pests and disease from attacking early in growth. Light is part of the electromagnetic wave that the eye can see with its components, namely red, orange, green, blue, indigo, and purple light. The color of light is related to the wavelength or frequency of the light, visible light, which is light that is sensitive to our eyes, has a wavelength in the range of 400 nanometers to 750 nanometers. This range is now is the visible spectrum and it range from purple to red. ZPT is a non-nutrient compound in a certain amount that while encouraged, inhibit and can even regulate physiological process in the initial growth of plants. One of the active growth regulator in plant growth is gibberellin. Gibberellin is thought to play a role in replacing the need for light and temperature needed for seed germination. The role of gibberellin is not only to simulate seed germination, but also to control the active growth of plants. Giving a single treatment of light and gibberellin in previous studies has been sought to be able to respond to germination and seed growth of a plant. However, this study tried to combine visible light and ZP treatment which had not been studied to date. The purpose of this study was to determine the effect of the visible light spectrum and the hormone gibberellin in initiating green bean germination.
Based on the observation, the single factor treatment of light significantly affected the length of the radical and primal lens of mung bean, with the best light treatment being the red light. In line with research by Hasana 2018 and Lester et al. 2021, the red spectrum with a wavelength of 620 to 750 nanometers is more effective than other light spectra. Based on the observations, it was shown the Gibberian single factor treatment had a significant effect of the radical length of Mung Bean. At 12 hours observation, with the best concentration of 75 ppm, with an average radical length of 1.01 cm. Based on the result of observation of the effect of light and gibberellin on radical length, after 12 hours observation, it saw a significant difference with the best treatment namely its combination of red light and 75 ppm gibberellin compared to other treatment and control this was because this treatment there was an interaction between the red light treatment and the 75 ppm gibberellin which increased the induction of seed and germination the addition of 75 ppm gibberellin can increase the concentration of endogenous gibberellin in the seed so the release of alpha amylase from the aluron layer increases the degradation of starch stored in endosperm into glucose it is this glucose that is first used by the root apical meristem to form the radical even the combinate with red light, the germination effect is more significant. So, the conclusion about the single factor of light and gibberellin, red light and 75 ppm gibberellin had a significant effect on radical length. For the plumular length parameter, red light saw a higher significant value. The combination factor of red light and 75 ppm gibberellin is the best treatment combination for radical length.